What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you join me for episode two of our 1985 Air Jordan UNC restoration. And if you missed the first episode, basically what we did is restore the shape, we gave it a really thorough cleaning, we removed the creases, and today this is how they look. All in all, they're looking a lot better. And that toe box that I was really, really worried about with the creasing, well, it looks pretty good. But that's not to say we don't have some issues here. We've got some scuffs on, well, the forefoot, we've got it on the heel, we've got it on the front. We need to do some painting. So the plan for today is to go ahead and strip this paint off. We're gonna go ahead and repaint the blue. We're gonna touch up some of the white. For those of you that are new, this is Vintage Kicks Gallery. All right, we're gonna get started with acetone and basically what that's gonna do is prep the surface for our new paint. And this stuff can be done basically with cotton balls and acetone. You don't have to use nail polish remover. You just use regular acetone from the hardware store. It'll save you a little bit of money. It all does the same thing. So I'm gonna do the white panels first and then I'm gonna get into the blue. It just kind of keeps me on track. So basically with this, we're just gonna rub it and remove the top layer of everything. And get ready for our paint. Guys, on the 1985 Air Jordans, do not get acetone on the checks. What it does is it messes up the sheen, it makes them shiny, and it's not a good look. So I'm very careful as I go around these, and basically, I don't get anywhere near it unless I have to. All right, now that we've got the white done, we're gonna go ahead and address the blue, and this is gonna make our alcohol pads, or our acetone pads, completely blue, but it's all right. Since we're not doing a full repaint, we're not gonna go too crazy on the acetoning here. After all, a lot of this is just gonna be touch-ups, but take a look. Now, once we get near the Wings logo here, we're gonna be extra careful. As you can see, this is scuffed already, so I'm just gonna hit it right around in the area, but not go too, too close. And what we're gonna do with those is use this 802 spot remover to hopefully get rid of some of the scuffing. All right, guys, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Looks like we've got most of the surface prepped and now it is time to get ready to paint. And for this, I'm using Angelus paint as usual. For the white, I'm using flat white, which is a little bit of vanilla. And for the blue, well, that's a, that's a hodgepodge. I use the university blue, I use mellow, I use light blue, I use white. Basically with any 1985 UNC, the color is gonna be a little bit off, so you have to mix on your own. Don't just go buy the collector's university blue and think it's gonna match, it won't trust me. As usual, I'm not gonna tape anything off, but I'm gonna get started with the white, and for this, I wanna get a pretty decent brush. Let's see, which one do I want? I'm gonna start with this. And the main thing that I really wanna pay attention to when I'm painting the white is the toe box perforations. If you get those two gunked up with paint, you're gonna really notice that the shoe's been worked on and we do not want that. So as usual, we're gonna put very little paint on the brush. We're gonna start with an area that's nice and flat here, and then we're gonna work our way out. Again, very little paint on the brush and keep those strokes moving. It's a little awkward trying to film this and do it, but I think we'll make it through. So again, distribute the paint up top. and then start to work it down.
All right, now that we've got the toe box done, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the side panels and these look a little bit rough, so we're gonna paint most of it, but we'll be all right. Guys, when painting any vintage shoe, never paint the stitching. I know I said that a hundred times, but just be careful, paint along the stitch lines, just go, don't go all the way down. The same goes for the glue marks, leave that. That's really how you tell the age of the shoe. If you got a fresh white, just look to it, it's gonna really look like it's been worked on. All right, so far so good. Let's clean off the brush. Let's switch over to the blue and give this white just a little bit more time to dry. All right, now it's time to move on to the blue paint and I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do the areas that have lost their paint altogether and then blend it out. I match this paint pretty well, so I'm not worried about it sticking out. I would just rather do that than repaint the entire thing. And uh, well, wish me luck. Now, when painting any vintage sneaker, I like to cut it off at the stitch line. Again, I'm weird about painting stitches, but I really think it looks good because then you keep that weathered edge and you don't have to worry about it looking like it was repainted. So I'm gonna use two different sizes of brushes here. I'm gonna fill in the main area first, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with a micro brush. Again, when coming towards the edges, leave that glue, I'm telling you. A lot of people paint over that. That is a sure tell way of saying, okay, this shoe's been worked on. We do not want anybody to know about this. Good restorations, you should never be able to tell that the shoe's been worked on. See that glue line in here? We're not gonna come anywhere near that. We're gonna leave that intact. And that way the shoe looks completely factory. So these scuffs aren't bad on the back, but if they would be, basically you'd have to use a very high grit sandpaper or a sanding block and make sure that the whole area is smoothed out. Otherwise, when you paint over it, you're gonna see the texture change underneath and that's not a good look. All right, we've got most of our base layer down, but now we're gonna switch over to our micro brush and really start getting into these fine, fine areas. So this should be fun. Again, the biggest thing with this is just to watch that stitching. We don't wanna get any paint on that stitching or the raw edges because this is a 1985 and we wanna maintain those edges. So I'm gonna start by just filling in the base level here anywhere that I didn't get too close. And when working with a micro brush, barely put any paint on the surface here. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this one. I'm gonna wait and do those wings for the next episode because I wanna get a good clear coat on here first. After that, we're gonna deoxidize the soles. We're gonna get some good new laces on here and then we're finally gonna reveal them. So 
I'll see you next time. But if you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Thank you.